we have seen how to display the dynamic products and also we have understood how to display the random products now whenever i refresh this one i will be getting the random products okay now we have seen entire thing now what we are going to do is now if i click on products let me just come to my demo project when i click on products you can see again i'm having the same functionality i'm having all these functions all the data dynamic data has been displayed all the products has been displayed here now inside each and every file instead of writing the entire code we are just going to create functions and that functions we are going to call inside our main files so that we can reduce the number of lines i will be telling you how to do that one i'll just come here inside this root i'm just going to create one folder i'll just write here functions folder inside this functions folder i'll just create one file i'll just write here common function dot php I have created the folder inside root and inside this functions folder I am having common function dot php. Now first I am just going to write this php syntax. Now to perform any operation related to database first we have to connect to the database. Now we have already written the code inside this connect dot php. We have already written the code to connect to the database. Now I am just going to include that file here. I will just write one comment. Now below this I am just going to include that one. Inside this includes folder I am having connect.php file. I have just included this one. Now here first I am just going to create the function for this one. Okay now we are having this products. You can see for products we have just written all this query. Now I am just going to copy this entire code. And instead of writing here I am just going to create function for that. I'll just write here getting products. Below this, I'll just write one function. I'll just write my function name as get products. And inside this function, whatever code I'm having here, whatever code I have written inside this PHP, I'll just copy this entire thing. Till here, I'm just going to copy. I'll just comment this out. And inside this function, I'm just going to paste that one. And also I am just going to save this index.php file. Now if I just refresh this one, you can see, okay, I will just come to my project. Now if I refresh this one, I do not have any products because I have just commented the entire code. You can see I have just commented whatever I have written. Now inside this common function.php, I have just pasted the entire code. This file I am just going to include inside index.php. Now below this, I am just going to include that one. I will be writing here include. And inside this, this index.php and functions folder are in same level. So I don't have to write any dot. Directly I am just going to write this functions folder. Inside that I am having common function.php file. Common function.php. I am just including this file. Now once I have included this file, whatever function we have created, I will just copy this function. And here in place of this, wherever we have written the products, now from here, I will just remove this entire thing. This entire code, I will just cut from here. I am just going to call the function here. Okay, now we are going to have one problem. I will be telling you what is the problem. Now if I just refresh this one, I will be getting this error. You can see this file is not present. And here I am getting all these things. And also you can see here undefined variable connection. Okay, now we are going to fix this one. And also we are going to see what is the problem here. I will just come here. Now you can see my file is correct inside functions we are having this includes folder and here I am having connect.php file. Now inside this connect.php file we are having this variable connection variable. Now whenever we are creating functions there is the concept of local variables and global variables. Now inside this function I am just going to write this global and for this connection I am just going to make this global variable. I will just come here. Now if I refresh this one, now you can see all the products whatever I am having here that has been displayed. Now again on line 4 it is showing me this file, okay, fail to open this stream. Let me just come here. Now what I am going to do is I am just going to remove one slash, okay, one dot from here. Okay, because I am just coming inside this includes folder, inside that I am having connect.php file. I will just come here. Now I will just refresh this one. Okay, now you can see here I am having the proper output. I have not done anything. I have just included this connect.php file. Why I am writing here dot slash because functions folder and includes folder are present in same level. So we just have to write this one includes and inside that I am having connect.php. So I am just writing that one here. 
now it is working completely fine i have just made this connection variable as global and this file i have just included inside index.php file you can see this is how we are going to include and next i have just called the function here okay this is the get all function i'll be writing here calling function as soon as i call this function you can see whatever output i was having that is been displayed for me now each and every time in each and every file i don't have to write the entire code i can directly pass this function and i will be getting all the output whatever is required for me now here also we have written this one for getting the branch okay to display the dynamic branch we have displayed i'll just copy this entire code i'll cut from here and inside common function here i'll be writing one comment i'll be writing here displaying displaying branch in side nav i'll just create one function function and inside this i'll be writing here get branch inside this i'm just going to paste the code i'll just remove all these comments we don't need this one and here also i'm just going to make this variable as global i'll copy this one and here i'm just going to paste okay now from index.php i have removed that code okay branch code now if i just come here if i refresh this one now you can see i don't have any branch here now as soon as i call this function whatever function i have created i'll copy this one and here inside this i'm just going to paste that function i'll just remove this spaces now if i refresh this one you can see all the branches whatever i was having that is been displayed okay so there is no change only we are creating separate function for that one and we are just displaying the data by calling that function in the same way i'm just going to create one function for branches in the same way i'm just going to create one function for categories i'll just write here categories below this i'm just going to create one function function name i'll just write here get categories inside this i'll just come here from here i'm just going to copy this entire code i'll just cut from here i'll save this and now if i just refresh this one you can see here i don't have any categories i'll just come to common function here i'm just going to paste that code i'll remove all these comments and here also i'm just going to make this as global i'll copy this and here i'm going to paste now if i refresh this one okay now i have you can see now the data is not at displayed because i have not called this function i'll just copy this function and inside index.php i'm just going to paste that one okay inside categories section i have just pasted that one now if i refresh this one you can see all the categories is been displayed okay this is how we are going to display the dynamic data using functions you can see we have reduced so many lines of code here if you want to create separate files for this one then also you can create and you can include this particular code inside each and every file okay it completely depends on you how you want to make the changes then we are having navbar for navbar we are not going to create separate file because in separate files we are having separate sections later on in category 2 we will see how to create separate file for this as of now i don't want to overwhelm you by teaching lots of concept so later on we will see how to create separate files for this and wherever it is required we are going to create cart wherever it is not required we are not going to create cart okay everything we are going to see now you can see we are having second child and inside this we are having this heading and inside this row you can see only one function we are having okay get products then inside this column too we are having get branch function and get categories function only so much changes we have done i have just created one common functions file inside functions folder i have just included this connect.php file then i have just created separate functions for displaying products for displaying categories and for displaying branches okay later on in this file itself we are going to add all the functions we are going to create function for searching we are going to create function for viewing all the details we will be creating the function for selecting all the data displaying all the data everything for each and everything we are going to write functions and only thing is we are going to call the functions wherever it is required next we will see how to add more functionalities like search functionalities view details functionalities everything we are going to see